What up guys, Long 6 here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to set up a Luxo node using a DAP node. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything you need to know, step-by-step -step guide to walk you through it. Anyways guys, without further ado, let's get started. So if you guys didn't know, DAP node is actually doing a limited time special edition of the DAP node. So purchase now if you would like to get this because it is a great deal. Not only does it come with an awesome different little case on top, but it also comes with four free Lux node validators. They will give you enough Luxo to host four validators now in this video i'm only going to show you how to do one but you can do up to four if you buy this and if you use my code matt underscore luxo you'll also get a discount for buying this so that is a great amazing price definitely worth it in my opinion but if you're watching this after november 26 don't worry i still have a code for you use code matlong6 to get a discount still on all the other things you're just not going to get enough luxo to make four luxo validators however they are still doing uh, the hopper one which is the one that i currently have so you could also do that and i'm going to make a video on how to actually set up hopper on a DAP node in a future video. So next you might be wondering what is Luxo since we're talking about it so much. So uh, Luxo runs its own blockchain and it runs on proof of stake, which is why we're running our own node. And it's a uh, multiverse network designed to cater to sectors like fashion gaming design and social media and the network leverages smart contracts with the token serving as a primary medium for transactions and interactions across this blockchain based digital lifestyle platform so in this video i'm not going to talk about much about what luxo is i'm going to assume you guys have already done your own research on it and i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to actually run the node on the dap node so i'm going to go ahead and pull up my dap node interface now and show you the first step go ahead over here to stakers and then on the top you click luxo and then you're going to need to select an execution client then a consensus client they're both practically the same you can switch around and play with them later if you want to i'm going to click prism luxo now we do suggest you use the check sync and then select a web3 signer and then after you select all three do not forget to add a fee recipient which is going to be yourself so uh, let me go ahead and show you that so for this part you're going to need to set up a luxo wallet i suggest just go ahead and add it to your existing metamask so what i'm going to do here is sign in so now all you're going to need to do is add luxo to metamask so we're going to do that by clicking up here and then it, you'll notice that luxo is not an option if you search for it you're going to have to scroll on down here and click add network which will bring you to just metamask and then select add network manually here you'll be able to add all the parameters of luxo which i'll put link in the description and now that we have it all set up on metamask go ahead and click up here and then scroll on down and find your luxo and then you're just going to copy and paste and then apply changes and continue and then continue past the disclaimer after you've read it and there you go it's starting to configure everything and download what needs to be downloaded now this may take a while i'm not sure how long but come back the next day and see if everything's done you can go to your dashboard and you'll see right here that it's syncing so now that your dap node's busy we need to load up your metamask with some lux node so we need 32 lux node in order to run the node and then just a little bit more just so that way we can pay any fees that are associated with sending coins and such so i would suggest using qcoin link in the description if you don't have one already not sure what you get for using my referral link for qcoin but you can try it if you would like so the reason i suggest qcoin is i know for sure that it has luxno and not only does it have luxno it uses the luxno blockchain and it's not sending luxno on the ethereum blockchain because if you do that you might lose your coins so i want to make sure that i'm showing you guys something that i know is going to work so i'm going to go ahead and convert this solana to luxo right now and then send it to my metamask
So now that I have traded and I have enough Luxno on KuCoin here, I have 39. In all honesty, I probably only need 33, so 32 for the node, and then one more for paying any extra fees. And let's go ahead and withdraw it from KuCoin into my MetaMask. I've already done a little test, that's why I have Luxno already in my account. Let me go ahead and copy, paste. Make sure I select the Luxno network, this blockchain, because otherwise I might lose my coins. So I select that. How much? I could do 33, but I'm gonna just do it all. You don't need to put remarks, that's optional, and withdraw. Awesome, so now it should show up in my MetaMask shortly. Oh, there you go, it just popped up, it's been withdrawal, and it says complete down there. Let's go ahead and take a look at our MetaMask. And sure enough, we have all the Luxno here. So what now what we're gonna do is just wait for DAP node to be finished, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so as you can see, it is done downloading. So something you could do while it's downloading is go ahead and prepare your key stores. So if we go over to our stakers and then go back to Luxo, you'll see that we need to upload our key stores. So when you come to this page, you're just going to scroll on down and then download the latest version. So we're going to go ahead and download this one. And the other ones I think are for Apple or Ubuntu. Now at this point, it is highly recommended to disconnect from the internet, mainly just to prevent any leaks or anything of someone somehow gaining access to some of the sensitive information uh, that I'll share with you here in a little bit. Whoever knows this information can actually take control of your node and then start earning rewards for themselves instead of you earning the rewards. So it's very important to not let anyone see anything that's going to happen from here on out. So from here, you're wanting to create a new secret recovery phrase. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to be running a node on the main net. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's hit create. So uh, this is the secret recovery phrase that you're going to have to make sure that you memorize, keep it somewhere hidden, maybe where you keep your social security number or all your other private addresses. So once you have noted this down, let's go to the next page and then it's going to have you retype everything just to make sure that you actually kept track of it and just to test to make sure that your backup copy works. Now, like I said, this is sensitive information, so I'm actually going to create a new phrase right now just so that way not even my editor can take a look at my secret words. Once you confirm your secret words, that now will bring you to this screen and right here it says how many keys. The keys is going to be how many validators you would like to actually create. So in this case, I only want one, but maybe you got some free Luxo from buying the Luxo version of the DAP node, then maybe you want to create four. You'll need 32 for every one key that you create. Then go ahead and create your password. And then it is highly recommended to go ahead and copy and paste the same address that you used earlier right here. Because in the future, when you stop running a node, this is the address where all your extra luck so that you use for creating your validator is going to be sent. So once you fill all this out and you know how many validators you want to run, go ahead and hit next, retype in your password. Now create a folder where you would like to save your keys. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So there you go. You're done. Now let me share with you how to take your key stores and actually connect it to your DAP node. So that way you can start running your validator. So next thing you're going to need to do is just connect back to your DAP node. Go back to the stakers. Go back to your Luxo and then upload key stores. And then you're going to want to go ahead and import and then go ahead and type in the same password you use to create it. And then for staking protocol, it's gonna be solo and then put in the fee recipient, the same address that we've been using throughout this video. And then go ahead and turn off the slashing protection data because that is only used for if you are transferring your key stores from one node to another node. So after that, go ahead and submit your key stores. Perfect, now that they're imported and you can see them right here. And now we're ready to deposit the 32 Lux node into our validator. So once you come here, you're gonna click and become a validator, read all the advisories so that way you understand what all is going on with your node and validator and stuff like that, and then hit continue. 
So after you understand all the advisories of what it means to be a validator, you're going to need to choose the execution client, which should match the same execution client you selected earlier, which would be this one for me. Then let's go ahead and uh, read through all this and then hit continue. Now make sure to select the consensus client, the same one you used previously. How many validators would you like to run? I'd like to run one. So I need to deposit 32 Luxo and then I am on windows. Now we've already done all this. So what we can actually do is skip this because we already created our keys. Select this checkbox on the bottom, click continue. After that, you need to upload this file, your data deposit. So uh, you downloaded that earlier when you created your keys. After that, go ahead and connect your MetaMask or your wallet and deposit your funds. Now, sadly, there is no way that I'm aware of for you to deposit your funds from an exchange. So you will have to use some type of wallet. Now go ahead and check that you understand all the risks. Make sure you do understand all the risks before you do this and then select this box because you're going to be sending the 32 Luxo to this address and then check all the other boxes and click continue. Confirm deposit, confirm it in your wallet and then continue. And there you have it. Your validator should be up and running here in a little bit. There is going to be a short wait time. So I'll be back right after that wait time to show you what to expect next. So to see how long it's going to take for your validator to be up and running, you can go ahead and go to Luxno's Execution Explorer. I have it pulled up right here. You can see my node address right here. And how you're going to actually get to this is you can either copy and paste your address or you can click this button right here. And then you can see right here that it's estimating that it's going to take between 16 and 24 hours to get my node up and running. So it's the next day and as you can see, it's going to take a lot longer than I initially thought to actually start earning rewards with your Luxo validator. As you can see, it says eight days until it is finally activated. By the way, guys, if you would like to see how much I actually earn with my Luxno validator, then definitely subscribe because the first Saturday of every month, I do a crypto monthly live stream where I share with you guys how much money I actually have earned with everything from my DAP node to my Hive Mapper, my Demo and the brand new Demo Macron that's coming out. Also, guys, don't forget to use my code at MattLong6 to get an awesome discount if you want to buy your own DAP node. And don't forget, before November 26th, you can buy the special Lux node version of the DAP node and you'll receive some free Lux node to start your validator. Just use code at Matt underscore Lux node. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. And as always, stay safe, trade safe, and God bless. Peace. No joke, this thing just died on me after one year of Heidi getting it for me for Christmas last year. This thing's dead.